For filmmakers, there's an art to storytelling that closely mirrors that of a magic trick, and it's billed to a payoff. Whether the bedazzling finale relies on sleight of hand, mental manipulation, or an illustration, the journey is always the same. You've got to be able to set up the rooms without them being able to guess how you got there or where you're going. It's all in the old-fashioned rope-dope. In films, it's very much the same, which is why there's such a currency in the end in being spoiled. Along with the movie's twists, its revolution and revelation is what every spoiler worth their salt wants to know. And that's precisely why some filmmakers go out of their way to pull off a scam of their own. Feeding the audience massive hints early on in the film to give the ending away. As long as you look hard enough, it's possible to tell exactly how the film will turn out. And it's arguably one of the most impressive tricks a filmmaker can pull off. That being said, I'm Ben Roy from WhatCulture.com, and this is Ten Incredibly Subtle Ways Movies Gave Away Their Endings. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Number 10, Doc's Clock, Back to the Future. Now it's easy to watch the opening credits of the original Back to the Future film and be a little overwhelmed by how many clocks there are, especially if you're Captain Hook little joke for the kids there. Anyway, there are so many clocks in the shot, it's easy to stop paying attention to them all together and focus on the newspaper in the shot, which is kind of designed to draw your focus. But if you do that, you'll miss one of the almighty hints to one of the key moments in the film's climax, as the camera pans over Doc's clocks. We see one clearly designed as a homage to the silent film, Safety Last, with a miniature figure of Lloyd holding on to the big hand. That's clearly a nod to what happens to the Doc at the end of the movie, as he tries to harness a lightning strike that breaks the clock. Number nine, Ed gives away the entire plot, Shaun of the Dead. Edgar Wright's tour de force of film prestige, Shaun of the Dead, is unique in its commitment to foreshadowing as it goes as far to lay out the entire plot in one piece of dialogue. Sure, you could point out the fact that Sean's housemate Pete explicitly mentions that Ed will be living in the shed like an animal, basically calling out exactly what happens to him, but the spoiler is on a higher level than that. Ed himself plots out the entire film in a conversation to Sean just after he's been dumped by Liz. Bloody Mary first thing, bite at the king's head, couple of little princesses, stagger back here, back at the bar for one shot. And wouldn't you know it, the first zombie that Sean and Ed fight has the name tag reading Mary. Then Bill Knightley's character is bitten in the neck and his princess Liz and gang then literally stagger while pretending to be zombies back to the Winchester where they fight them off with a shotgun. Number eight, Marcus reveals his own secret project, Star Trek Into Darkness. You'd think that a villain who was living a double life and building a death machine wouldn't want anyone to know about it and would be pretty good at hiding it. But not Admiral Marcus, played by Peter Weller in Star Trek Into Darkness. Perhaps everyone was looking into clues of John Harrison's true identity, as J.J. Abrams said before release that he really wasn't Khan. Audiences simply weren't looking for other hints for anyone else's secret identity, so they wouldn't miss the fact that Marcus has a key revelation on his identity in his office. The secret warship that he'd been keeping secret from the rest of the Starfleet to start a war with the Klingons. Talk about leaving your secrets in plain sight. Number seven, Split's poster ruins the twist. There's a rich history of movies being spoilt by their posters or trailers because, you know, the marketing company don't really care about the sanctity of the plot. They just want to get your butts on the seats. That's why trailers now just brazenly ruin things for funsies. But there's an art to the blatant spoil. As cinematic trickster M. Night Shyamalan proves with his return to relevance with Split. The film's success mostly hinged on the final scene's twist that revealed that the Beast's world was in fact the same as the superhero David Dunn and the vulnerable supervillain Mr. Glass. That set up a prequel that would be far more widely seen than Split and has thrusted Mr. Shyamalan back into the spotlight. And we all should have seen it coming as the film poster starring Mr. Moody McAvoy with two different colour eyes has the same cracked glass gimmick as Unbreakable. They are effectively under one pane of glass, proving they are both in the same universe. Number six, Goals FIFA prediction. It may not be the smartest blockbuster ever made, but fans of Newcastle United, who really don't have anything else to be proud about right now, have special affection for this movie. It's your typical rags to riches story with a young hopeful plucked from South America and thrusted into the spotlight of the Premier League. And trust me, it also features some of the worst native Geordie accents you'll ever hear. And that's coming from someone who lives in Newcastle now. And despite it being a fairly easy watch with nothing to challenge you and no complexities, there's something rather clever here. One scene in which Santiago challenges his fellow player Gavin to his unprofessional behaviour, with Harris playing FIFA on PlayStation. We see his player score a free kick from the right, well outside the box, 
against the team in red. Which is exactly what happens in the film's conclusion as Santiago scores an impressive free kick against Liverpool, who of course also play in red. Number 5. Chuck fluffs his line. Shutter Island. Shutter Island's big twist is that Teddy isn't actually a cop, but rather a patient at the Ashcliff Institute trying to save his own mind. His partner Chuck is in fact his doctor, using an innovative deep role-playing exercise to help find his sanity. It's that kind of twist that absolutely knocks the wind out of you. But if you look hard enough, the film spoils the fact that Chuck wasn't who he seems quite early on in the film and clearly hints that he wasn't a federal agent. As the pair arrive to the island, they're asked to hand in their weapons and curiously, Chuck struggles with his holster, something that a US Marshal certainly wouldn't do. His basic firearm training would have put pay to that and while Teddy is confused at the fumbling, he basically manages to brush it off a lot easier than the audience should have. Number 4. A Lazy Shield employee reveals the alien invasion, the Avengers. There was a time when the Hulk was going to feature as the main villain in the first Avengers film. This was even hinted to in the post credit stinger of the Incredible Hulk. But plans changed and ultimately Loki turned out to be the big bad. He was never going to be enough of course, so Joss Whedon tacked on the relationship with the Chitari, sponsored by Thanos, who would be his cannon fodder slash army to help in his invasion agenda. The third act particularly comes out of nowhere, as it meant the Avengers would have to lose a little to get there. But it was heavily foreshadowed in the first scene that we see all the Avengers together as a unit. Well. Minus possessed Hawkeye. When Tony Stark enters the bridge of the Shield helicarrier, he quips that one of the vessel's crew is playing Gallagher. Now putting off gross misconduct on display, the game actually hints towards Loki's alien invasion, as the game involves an alien force attacking from above. Clever that. Number 3. M's gravestone, Skyfall. Traditionally, the James Bond opening credits were an excuse for the art team to sneak in some nudity while Shirley Bassett crooned about her dangerous 007. It was a winning formula with a great aesthetic, with some of those title sequences working like standalone pieces of art in their own right. Even the modern Bond films take from the early aesthetic, but without some of the overly sexy tones that were going on there. With bold imagery and iconography and basic hints at the plot that's going to take place. But Skyfall took this hint in just a little further, basically hinting the fate of one of the franchise's most beloved characters in just a few frames. As Judy Dench's name appears, it's emblazoned over the imagery of gravestones, which wouldn't be so noticeable if it wasn't for the fact that M ends up dying at the end of the film. Number 2. Private Ryan Lives, Saving Private Ryan Given the fact that it's partly based on the true story, you could be forgiven for assuming that Saving Private Ryan was going to end on a happy note, even if the film tries its hardest to make you question if he will or will not be saved. Even the first scene of an old veteran visiting graves at a cemetery in Normandy alongside his family tries to suggest that in fact the old man is Tom Hanks, Captain Miller, with a cheeky edit between their faces as an old man remembering D-Day. But it is in fact not the case as the old boy is actually Ryan himself, who emerges unscathed while the rest of the squad are signed to save him are mostly killed. But if you look closely, there is a major hint that it was Ryan all along, with the film happily spoiling its main narrative question in the first scene. Had you known what the pin for the 101st Airborne looked like, you'd have known that was Ryan the second his company was mentioned, because the old man has that on his lapel. Had he been anyone else in the film, he would have had the Army Ranger pin instead. Number 1. Captain America Civil War foreshadows Infinity War's ending. It would go about saying that Marvel tried doubly hard to make sure that everyone knows that their movies are part of a shared universe, especially when every plot hint will eventually lead to a resolution, even if it does take years from seeding to fruition. Unless of course they retcon it, which of course they like to do without acknowledgement. That said, they love to drop little hints that pay off several movies down the line. And it appears they revealed who was going to die at the end of Avengers Infinity War at the end of Captain America Civil War. As spotted by the Tumblr user Raider5, the scene in which the heroes discuss signing the Sokovia Accords has a big hint. The Avengers sit around a boardroom table in telling positions. Captain America, Black Widow and War Machine all sit on the left, while Scarlet Witch, Vision and Falcon are on the right. This split very much lives and dies in Infinity War. Tony Stark is also on the same side as Cap, though he is slightly removed from the table. There's just no way this is a coincidence. Which other examples of movies giving away their endings belong on this list? Why don't you share down in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I've been Ben Roy Turner from whatculture.com and I'll catch you later.